Hi, I'm Matt from Colorspec. We're achieving professional quality results at home is as easy as one, two, three. That's prepare, paint, finish. In this video, we're covering step one, prepare. As well as the basic process, we'll be including loads of hints and tips for getting the absolute best finish possible on that auto repair or DIY project. While each of the three steps in the color spec process are important, proper preparation is vital as painting is an unforgiving process with the final finish magnifying any underlying imperfections. Step one, prepare covers, finishing off any repairs and feathering edges, scuffing back existing paint, etch priming bare steel, through to final sanding of the primer in readiness for base coat color. Treat any surface rust with rust converter and undertake any necessary repairs. If you're unsure how to mix, apply and sand color spec body filler, you should watch our body filler video before proceeding. Always wear protective clothing along with safety glasses, gloves and a respirator. Finish repairs with 120 to 240 grit paper. From there, go to 320 grit to feather out paint edges and remove previous sanding scratches. Run your palm across the repaired area. You should not be able to feel any lumps, ripples or undulations. You also need to scuff the surrounding paint to about 5 to 10 centimetres beyond the edge of the repair with 320 grit or grey scouring pad, as neither primer nor base coat will bond to shiny paint. If you're changing the colour of an already painted panel, all of the original paint needs to be scuffed to ensure proper adhesion. Be thorough, as you'll have poor adhesion on any areas that you haven't sanded. With sanding completed, clean the surface with wax and grease remover. Here you want to wipe it on with a clean cotton cloth, before giving it a final wipe with a second dry cloth. Be sure to clean well past the repair area. You're now ready for primer. Mask off the surrounding area to protect it from overspray. For large areas of bare metal, start with two to three light coats of Colorspec Etch Primer, followed by Primer Surfacer. For repaired areas like this, or previously painted surfaces, go straight to Primer Surfacer. Before spraying, shake can vigorously for three to five minutes after ball is heard rattling, and regularly shake during use. Failure to follow this important step can result in a clogged nozzle and poor laydown. Test spray pattern. Holding the can upright, spray with smooth, even overlapping strokes, about 20 to 25 centimetres from the surface and always at 90 degrees. Don't attempt full coverage in one heavy coat, as this can not only affect adhesion, you also run the risk of creating runs and sags. Full coverage typically requires two to three coats with around five to 10 minutes drying time between each coat. Depending on film thickness, temperature and spray technique, additional coats may be required for full coverage. After each use, invert can and spray briefly to clear nozzle, otherwise it may clog. If you're painting plastic, the process is virtually the same, except you need to use Colorspec Plastic Primer Filler. Check out our Painting Plastic Parts video for more info. To help with sanding the primer, apply a very light guide coat. Black aerosol works well, however any dark colour will do the job. For best results, you want to be spraying in temperatures between 15 and 30 degrees Celsius. Painting in cold, damp or high humidity conditions may cause blooming resulting in dulling of the finish. Give the primer a minimum of 40 to 60 minutes drying time before sanding with 600 grit dry sandpaper or 800 grit wet, like we're doing here. Always use a sanding block, board or form. This will keep the surface perfectly flat and free of ruts, ridges and ripples. Flexible sanding blocks and forms are available for sanding curved surfaces. Using a crosshatch sanding pattern helps tremendously in creating the flat, smooth finish you're after. High spots will present themselves as areas where you break through to the primer, whereas low spots show up as areas where the guide coat remains. Minor low spots can be filled with additional coats of primer surfacer and more sanding. Even previously painted panels in good condition may require multiple priming and sanding steps to eliminate any minor chips and scratches. Regardless, the entire area needs to be covered in sanded primer and be 100% free of any imperfections before moving on to applying base coat colour, which we'll run through in our Step 2 paint video. Don't rush, take your time and carefully follow Colorspec's easy three-step process, prepare, paint, finish. And there's no reason you can't achieve a full-on professional result. That's because Colorspec is a professional grade automotive refinish paint system, capable of delivering a factory-like finish that will maintain its good looks for years to come. Be sure to watch our other helpful how-to videos covering paint and finish before proceeding. It's very important you only use Colorspec primers, base coat colors, and clear coats, as mixing brands voids the warranty as it often compromises adhesion and longevity. Before leaving the store, be sure to grab everything needed to complete the job. 
There's a handy shopping list in the back of the Colorspec brochure. Colorspec is available exclusively at Super Cheap Auto. If you have any issues, you can call the Colorspec tech line, or there's live chat on the website during business hours.